We are going to discuss the alarms on the VitaRoot TLS 450 Plus automatic tank gauges used at the majority of the APHIS sites in CONUS. We're talking about VitaRoot alarms. The VitaRoot has alarms whenever things occur that can cause issues at your site. What you want to see when you walk in the door is that your VitaRoot has a green light and isn't making any noise. If it has a yellow or red light and is beeping, you can silence the beep temporarily by pressing buttons on the Vita Root, or it may go off on its own. When you have an alarm, your readout on the ATG will look something similar to one of these. It'll have a red strip at the top and it will identify what the issue is going on at your site. If you have an alarm and you don't understand what the alarm means you can look it up either through the quick help guide often located at the end of the automatic tank gauge or you can follow the link that is in this video underneath this video for the VitaRoot quick help guides what this video is intended to do is tell you all about alarm management at the express locations with VitaRoot TLS 450 plus quick note before we get into the management process for an alarms don't ignore VitaRoot's calls and always be aware of your local alarm response procedures. Have the contact information for your POCs on the installation, your tanks POC, your compliance POC, your emergency POCs. Make sure you know where all those are in case a situation arises where you need them quickly. Let's go into the alarm management process. What happens is an alarm activates. The VitaRoot analyst that is monitoring the VitaRoot ATG reacts to this alarm. First thing they will try to do is remotely fix the issue. Oftentimes, they can fix this issue without ever letting you know that there was an issue. But if they can't, then they have to start notifying the manager at the site. They'll do this by calling the site, explaining the issue to them, what's creating the alarm, and what equipment repairs are needed to resolve the issue. The analyst also emails service requests to the site with information for the technician on how to resolve the alarm. What you have to do as the manager is submit a work order to the installation and FMO. You can either copy the service request or forward the service request to them. It should tell them the information on what needs to be fixed or repaired. And then whenever a technician comes on site, they have to call VitaRoot at one of the contact information numbers below so they can access the TLS 450 Plus console and do any changes or any upgrades to the programming that they may have to do. If you have issues with any of these, Greg Smith is your contact at APHIS headquarters that can help you with any repair or maintenance issues. He knows a lot of the contractors out in the field if you're having trouble finding a contractor. He also knows what these services that they provide should cost you. So he's always a really good resource for working with the contractors. We're going to go into a little bit more information about the service request or the SR. For VitaRoot, they monitor your TLS 450 pluses all the time, 24-7. There's somebody at VitaRoot that is watching your gauges or reacting if there are any alarms from your gauges. They can resolve about 75 to 80 percent of the alarms that occur through your gauge remotely. So you would never even be aware that those alarms occurred. But if you need to react to an alarm, this is how they'll do it. Is they'll contact you at the site. They'll send a service request notification. And then you submit your work order. This is what it looks like on a service request. The date that it was issued. Any ticket information for the customer. And then... There's a link for you to click to confirm that you've received that service request. As you progress down the first page of the service request, you'll see details, which will look, tell you the description of the what's causing the alarm. It'll also give you below that a, the reported issues. So in this instance, it's an alarm. Uh, the sensor and the piping sump says that right over here, sensor fuel alarm, piping sump. It tells you the location, which is the unloaded two sub turbine pump sump. And then it tells you to call VitaRoot whenever you have resolved this. And it gives you a phone number and the buttons to push to follow up on that. On the second page of the service request, you will see 
the notify box. Under that box, it tells you that this is only a request to be sent to the exchange associate and that the manager is expected to contact whoever needs to come out and repair this. We say to submit a work order to the installation and then forward or copy your service request in the work order. And then it provides instructions to the technician when they arrive on site, how to call VitaRoot and what they need to do when they come on site. To conclude the alarm management training, most of your alarms are going to require installation or repair them. If you refer to the 0522 tank talk, you'll have more details on APF for installation funds versus NAV for APHIS monies and what pays for what. VitaRoot monitors all TLS 450 plus automatic tank gauges remotely and they respond to those alarms remotely. Your alarm history, if you need it, can be printed under Site Alarms Detail Report in Insight 360. You can print those and put those in your binders if your site needs them. If you see FMS closed under the alarm history, that means an alarm has been responded to and fixed remotely by VitaRoot. Any environmental compliance alarms have to be reported to the tank's POC for your installation. Uh, hopefully you know who your tank's POC is, but if you don't, you need to learn that and be ready to report any of these to them. You can allow anyone on the installation to access Insight 360. You can send them the login information and the website for it and let them go to town looking at whatever they need to look at. Finally, this is your environmental team. Greg Smith is your repairs and maintenance person. I mentioned him earlier. If you have any legal permits, fees, fines, Cameron Kane is who you would contact for that. Any responsibilities for funding repairs, MOAs, MOUs, that would be Major Jordan Davis. HQ Fuel is for your fuel operations, for buying and selling fuel. Uh, VitaRoot compliance issues, you can reach out to Jason Patricklin. If you have any VitaRoot alarms, the VitaRoot alarm team, it can be reached at that number. And then environmental compliance is myself, Robert Largent. If you ever have any questions on environmental compliance or any of these videos or any of the tank talks, please let me know. Thank you very much for your time. Hope you have a great day.